Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a lesson on Geometry Star today because you guys are all rock stars working hard at home and your parents are all rock stars helping you guys. So um, this has to do with all the things that we've learned about geometry. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a white piece of paper and it can be um, a normal size or if you wanna do something bigger, you can. And the next thing you need is a pencil Make sure it has a sharp point and also colored pencils if you have colored pencils. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw a point on your paper. And remember a point is a position or location represented by a very small dot made by a sharp pencil and it has no diameter or it does, but it's tiny, tiny. Then you're going to draw a line segment. So remember a line segment is a um, part of a straight line limited by the two endpoints. And your line segment is gonna be two inches long. So get your ruler out, you're gonna do two inches long. So that's a line segment with two points at the end. Then you guys are going to be putting 20 points all around your paper randomly and make sure you're doing it close to the line segment and also far away. So 20 random points. All right, so we're gonna name our line segment because we always name our line segments, our rays, our lines. So we're gonna name it AB and you can do it nice and small. Then from your line segment, you're gonna start drawing triangles. So to each of the points on your paper. So you always go from B to a point and then from A to a point. All right, and you can label these or you don't have to because it might um, be disturbing to your drawing. So you're always going from A and B. So by the time you finish this, there'll be a lot, a lot of marks on your A point, your A vertex, and a lot of dots on your, or marks on your B vertex. And as you're doing this, I want to remind you to look at the kind of angles you're making. So you might have acute angles, and we know that acute angles are angles that have degrees that are less than 90. You might have a right angle, which are angles that are made up of, um, that have 90 degrees. And you might have an obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degrees. So you're gonna keep doing this, take your time, make sure you're using your ruler, and you wanna make sure that you get to every single point on your paper. So once you're done with that, Pete's not done, but I'm gonna have him stop right now. You're going to look at the different sections that are made up of, and you're going to color them. And you can be very creative. You can color them with just solid red, or you can do stripes, or you can do polka dots. You are all very creative, especially when we do our lettering work. You know how to make something really cool. So you're gonna use your colored pencils, take your time, um, we like you thinking outside the box and coloring outside the lines, but in this case, we want you to stay in the lines, use different colors, and um, this might take you a day or two days. I really want you to spend some time on it, and you can label it uh, Superstar. You can put it someplace so it reminds you of how much of a rock star you are during this um, home Montessori at home learning. So I'm going to show you on the computer what your end result could possibly look like. Isn't that cool? So you can do it on a small piece of paper or you can even do it on a large piece of paper, but take your time and then make sure you post it on Slack 
because I love to see it. And I want to see your faces. So put your face next to it so I can see your smiling face. All right, let's say thanks to Pete. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this um, lesson. Bye.